<laughs> hey kids, want to know what's awesome? Being an adult. <laughs> I can't do this. I want to be a kid again. But how could I relive my childhood? Nah, all those things take way too much effort. When I wasn't doing all those things that I totally did as a kid, I watched a lot of TV and back in the 90s, Nickelodeon reigned supreme for kids shows. There were so many cartoons that people my age look back with nostalgia glasses and can you blame them? They were really good. So good in fact that Nickelodeon published a lot of Nickelodeon games, some of which I'm going to play right now. Wait, hold on, let me just put on my nostalgia glasses. Okay. One of, if not my favorite show on Nickelodeon growing up was Rocco's Modern Life. A show that started in September of 1993, it's about a wallaby named Rocco and his friends Heifer and Filbert, and of course his dog Spunky, who I think banged a mob once, but let's not get too caught up on that. Regardless of if the show is going to get big or not, Viacom New Media started development on a game based on the show less than a year after the show launched, which is clearly a good idea. Taking from what little of the show they had, Rocco's Modern Life's Spunky's Dangerous Day release for the Super Nintendo. And I'm gonna play it. The game starts with music that really makes you feel that 90s nostalgia. Rocco and Heifer are playing on the beach with Spunky when Rocco throws a frisbee and Spunky chases after it. But Heifer seems to not want to get involved. Bye! Instead of being like a normal platformer where you avoid getting hit and try to make it to the end, the game has you protecting Spunky from hazards as he walks through the level, very similar to Lemmings. As you can tell, I'm pretty good at this game. Wait, Spunky, where are you going? It's the other way! Spunky! Everything seems out to get you, whether it be this crab, this fish, or this giant bird. Get out of here, you one-eyed turkey-bodied bird with a bad haircut! Wait, where's Spunky? Oh boy, I lost Spunky. Wait, what? He made it to the end without me. Of the best around. Now there's everyone me down. You go through different stages of four different levels. There's the beach, the dump, O-Town itself, and finally the laundromat, all of which start with Spunky chasing after something. Oh God, there's the mop again. After the first few times Spunky runs off, I can't help but think, maybe Rocco should buy a leash. Just buy a leash, Rocco. Buy a leash! My 90s kid sense is tingling. Hey Tyler. Hey man, what's up? Are you making a video about Nicktoons? Uh, yeah? No, you're gonna do everything all wrong. You're not a real 90s kid. Only real 90s kids remember when Nicktoons were great, Tyler. Only real 90s kids. Connor, I'm older than you. <laughs> Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Your video can still be salvaged and turn into something great. You just need some input from someone who's a true 90s kid master. Someone like me. When I was a little baby child, I wanted nothing more than to make movies. But I didn't own a video camera, and I didn't know anyone who owned a video camera, so how was I gonna make movies at all? Well, the answer came with Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker, which lets you make your own cartoons with your favorite Nick characters all on your PC. The game starts in- ah! Sorry, I forgot Stick Stickly was in this game. I was never a big fan of him, but you have to watch his intro cutscene where he talks about, I don't know, comedy, I guess. Obviously, the main draw is the movie maker, which you start up and, ugh, oh, you're here too, Stick? I don't want you. Go away. The movie making system is actually pretty robust for a Nickelodeon game. You have a bunch of different locations to choose from and camera angles to see them from, and a cast list of a bunch of characters from three classic Nicktoons. Well, two classic Nicktoons and all real monsters. I really like that one that much. Sometimes the controls can be a little bit finicky. Stimpy! Stimpy, I want you in the center of the screen. Stimpy, Stimpy, where are you going? Stimpy! But with a little trial and error, it's really easy to make something that actually looks pretty good. Obviously, the character models aren't the best, but they look enough like the characters that they're supposed to, and they have a lot of different expressions and animations that really bring out more character in them. And moving them around is pretty easy. You choose an animation and then you click and drag them if you want them to move around, or just click and hold if you want them to stay where they are and play that animation. 
do it a couple times for every character in the screen, and all of a sudden you have a 3D animated Nicktoon that doesn't take much time at all to make, but actually looks pretty decent. And there's authentic voice clips from all of the shows so that you can make it seem that much more real. There aren't that many of them, but with a little ingenuity you can make something that kinda seems like a bizarro Nicktoon. So without further ado, I'd like to premiere my directorial masterpiece, which I'd like to call The Intruder. Go away, Stick Stickly! You're not funny! You're just like your father! I. Love. Television! <laughs> Oh, fish sticks. Hey, Rocco. Shut up, you fool. Wanna get something to eat? Let's get some tacos. You're one of the good ones. Hey, Heifer. This is what I call a party! Restaurant. You fat bloated sack of protoplasm! Prepare to be petrified! Powdered! Will evil never rest? I've got a really bad feeling about this. Jiminy! You gonna finish that? Garbage day is a very dangerous day. Where do I even start with Ren and Stimpy? One of the weirdest and creepiest kid shows to ever exist? It got its start in 1991 and is remembered for its quote, off-colored humor. There was a lot of this going on. The show ran for five seasons and five games were made, most of which developed by THQ. May they rest in peace. I have no idea if the games captured the kind of weirdness from each episode, but I can only hope as I dive into the Ren and Stippy show, Vidious. SPOILER ALERT! It totally does. Released the very same month I was born on October 1993, the game starts with the cunning plan of Ren being a rat, so naturally you have to run through a living room avoiding... Stimpy? The hell bro, you're supposed to be helping me! You run through collecting money because... why not? And avoid that fat red cat, but once you get to the end of the level, you go to... Stimpy's mouth? I've been playing for 10 minutes and I already have no idea what's going on. The game looks pretty good for a Super Nintendo game and the controls are great, but I just... I don't even know what's happening. Much like the show, this game doesn't really make any sense, but that's not a bad thing as it's fun to just play without a concept of story or really... anything. There are only four levels in the game, three of which has you playing as Ren through the living room, Stimpy's mouth, and a boot camp's training ground, but the last level has you playing as Stimpy running through the insides of an alien. The only reason why I know this is because each level is based on an episode of the show, and they capture it really well. It's just... What is going on? What is any of this? I need to go before I go completely insane. Hey, you thought you could just make fun of me and get away with it? No, you can't do that. Cause now I'm gonna rap at you. Uh, hey yo, I'm Stick Stickly. You know me from Nixie, got all of the answers. Call me Ned Bigby. Spit a 616 with some thick chicks. Three of them, four some, five seconds, still victory. I'm repping 101 oh, wait, you can't miss me. Or else I'm gonna, gonna make you crew history. What happened to them? Hey, it's no mystery. Got hit by a stick. If that's a stick, guess a brick be. I don't got time for lamers, but if you do subscribe to Happy Mass Gamer, and dang, Connor Klein kills it all the time, and no, he's not the one who's writing these rhymes. What? You can't surprise me cause I've been around, I've been a G while well, you've been a clown, I'm Doug Dimmadome, I own this town, got everybody saying, hey stick, simmer down, what? Ha! <laughs>